Morning, everybody. Another intriguing uh, JEE prep question. Now, just to get our bearings here, I'm going to write down the domain of this piecewise function. It's very clear that that domain would be zero inclusive, comma, three not included. Of course, that's the convention. The square brackets mean zero is in the domain. The parentheses means three is excluded. Okay. Now, it turns out, in my opinion at least, you're better off just trying to graph this to see what the range is, okay, to, to determine what the range of this function is. And it's important to determine the range of f of x since we're trying to find the range of the sine of 7 times f of x. So let's get busy sketching a, a fairly simple piecewise function graph here. Now, so let's just write down Cartesian plane here. And y'all, again, what I want to do is just sketch a graph of y is equal to f of x. Okay, and the f of x, of course, <clears throat> is the piecewise function you see. Okay, now, um, <coughs> okay, from 0 to 1, the graph of the function is just equal to x. And so that's easy enough to graph. Okay, that's one unit. <coughs> okay, now, notice that says for less than one, so technically there would be an open zero right there, but notice when you substitute one in here, you also get one back. If you substitute one right here, you get zero, then the absolute value of one minus two is the absolute value of negative one, which is one. And so what we get is a graph that looks, let me see if I can get this scaled properly. So something like this. Now, this is 2 right here, right? So notice that when you substitute 2 right here, you would get 0. Uh, actually, the 2 would be right here. You would get 1 also when you substitute the 2 here because this is 2 less than or equal to x. So you see, we get a graph that looks approximately like this. And I've tried to scale it. I don't know how well, but there we go. Now, this is a line segment. This is a line segment y equals x just from 0 to 1. Now, notice this is constant because if you pick any number between 1 and 2, say, for example, you picked 1.8, right? Well, the absolute, the, the, wherever 1.8 is located, the sum of its distances from 1 and 2 have to be equal to 1, right? It's in between 1 and 2, and these are just, this is just a distance interpretation. So, for example, if x were 1.8, the absolute value of 1.8 uh, minus 2 would just be 2, and this would be 0.8 right here, 0.8 plus 0.2 add up to 2. But just conceptually, any number between 1 and 2, if you consider the sum of its distances from 1 and 2 respectively, that must sum to 1, which is explained why this is constant right up here. So this is, in the interval 1 to 2, is just constant. Okay, So that's why doing the graph is a little bit easier. Now, notice that this also implies that 7f of x, uh, I'll just write it down, 0 would be less than or equal to 7f of x. We don't have to graph it because it's just clear from the graph that what I'm about to write down is true. less than or equal to 7, right? Right? So, in other words, uh, 7 f of x is trapped between, bounded below by 0 and bounded above by 7 because the maximum value of f of x is just 1, and then all these values are between 0 and 1 on both sides. And again, if you don't see this part right here, just think of, um, this is just part of the graph of, the absolute value function shifted to the right. The absolute value function of x minus 3 would have a vertex right here, and this, this is just the part from 2 to 3, okay? Now, what does this do for us? What does this do for us? Well, it does quite a bit, in fact, because, you see, we know that the sine function, one period of the sine function, let me come down and give it a little space here. Um, again, another rough sketch of what sine would look like. 
Now the sine wave is very well known from trigonometry, just to tracing out the y coordinate on the unit circle. Notice that this this piece right here is two pi. So for to complete one period of the sine function, you just have to go two pi radians, and that's that is measured in radians, right? But notice that this is approximately two pi radians. Two pi radians. is approximately decimal, I'll just say decimal, uh, 6.28, right? 3.14 is the common approximation of pi. So two times 3.14, 3.14 is 6.28, and of course that's radians, but notice that's less than seven, okay? That's less than seven. So we know for a fact that uh, this function will sweep through more than one period of, of the sine wave, right? Now notice up here the maximum value is one, right? And the minimum value down here would be uh, minus one. Again, y'all, I'm trying to line this up. One is the maximum value of the sine function at pi over two, which we don't really have to note, but we'll write it down anyway, just for bearing, okay? Pi over two right here. Of course, we could label some more things, but it's not important. All that's important is that one is the maximum value at pi over two, minus one would be the minimum value at three pi over two, it turns out, okay? But anyway, all of this implies that since we're gonna get more than one period of this graph, so the entire range of the sine function is gonna happen, okay? And that entire range, uh, that entire range is equal to, again, y'all, this, this is sine x here, sorry. This is a, this is the graph of y is equal to sine x. Okay, and the range is equal to minus one to one. Very well known result from trigonometry. But f of x allows us to complete one cycle. Seven f of x allows us to complete one cycle owing to this inequality right here. So this is your solution. Solution to the problem. Uh, and I'll just, I can write it, I guess. Well, I tell you what, we'll just come on up because this was a multiple choice uh, question on the JEE. -E. Uh, it's from the Black Book, actually. A book by Gupta. Very beautiful resource for some exceptionally uh, talented uh, or challenging problems. It takes quite a bit of talent for a kid in, in the 18 to 20 year old range to, to actually go through this kind of stuff. This is difficult. I had to think about this problem, just this single problem for about 30 minutes before I got a grip on, on what to do and how to approach it. But again, uh, the answer to this one is uh, D, part D, which is minus one to one inclusive.